Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create a print ready t-shirt design using just PowerPoint, so let's get started. So ladies and gentlemen, we will be creating this t-shirt design never stop powerpoint i just went to pinterest.com and collected a couple of amazing t-shirt designs that we could try to recreate and as you can see this kind of design is pretty popular in this case it's never stop the hustle or in this case it's never stop the ride so we will do never stop powerpoint i think it's uh, amazing <laughs> all right so let's open up a fresh blank new presentation let's choose a blank slide layout and the first question we have to answer is what kind of slide dimensions we should have when we are creating uh, a t-shirt design so let's just go to printful.com this is one of the most popular websites where you can upload t-shirt designs and print them so let's just check out this uh, t-shirt and let's see what kind of requirements do we have for the t-shirt design dimensions and as you can see it has to be 12 inches by 16 inches so let's get back to powerpoint let's open up our fresh presentation here it is and let's go to slide size and let's set for the width let's insert 12 inches and powerpoint should convert it automatically to centimeters yes and here for the height 16 inches and let's click here all right click ok scale up and here we have our perfect size file size uh, or dimensions for the t-shirt design all right and now all that's left to do is to create this amazing um, t-shirt design all right so first of all let's just set our slide uh, background to some dark color because as you can see we'll be creating this kind of white letters with this uh, uh, red line crossing our design so let's just give it a solid black fill like this we can be a little bit fancy and let's just go to gradient and let's insert a radial gradient one color can be absolutely black and this one the second color can be for example this kind of color uh, let's choose it a little bit darker like this all right and we can make it a radial radial like this let me just switch the colors so it goes like this yeah i think it looks really nice nice background all right okay so now we have to insert these uh, words never stop powerpoint so let's just go to insert let's choose uh, text box let's type in never uh, let's select all of our text let's make sure it's uh, white and let's increase it many times so that we can see our text okay uh, let's just give it a different font for example railway and let's choose a different uh, font weight for example railway bold italic awesome and i think we could do font size 200 let's see how it looks like all right so let's make sure that our text is center aligned and let's activate the slide guides so that we can see where is the center of the slide and let's just make sure that this text box is aligned to the center nice beautiful okay so now we can hit we can select this text box we can hit command d or control d and duplicate it so here let's type in let's make sure we type in with capital letters never stop let's move it closely to the first close to the first word so now let's duplicate it again okay powerpoint and once again beautiful let's make sure all of these words are aligned to the center 
uh, let's make sure that they have equal uh, vertical spacing all right all right i think it's looking beautiful let's see how how the things were looking here so i think i have uh you know moved the positioning of these uh, words slightly you know right and left so we will see here how it goes it doesn't have to be completely identical okay so we can deactivate the guides and we can actually now draw this uh, straight line actually it's a narrow rectangle which will cross our design so let's draw it like this and now let's just rotate it to the side to any angle that we like let's just zoom in let's try to match the angle of this you know crossing rectangle to the angle of this letter here something like this let's zoom out and we can reduce the length of this uh, you know crossing line crossing rectangle whoops something like this let me zoom in a little bit once again okay i think it looks good we can always adjust the width of this uh, you know line yeah something like this looks good all right so the next thing we have to select all of our letters so let's just select the first one not letters i mean words let's select the first text box hold down the shift key and select the rest of them now let's go to shape format merge shapes and let's choose union and now we have converted our text into shape uh, you might be wondering why do we have to do this step and we have to do this step we have to convert our text into shape so that we can cut it up into pieces because now for example if i go to shapes and let's just draw any shape with a freeform tool for example like this just click around and join the starting and ending point uh, you don't see anything because this shape does not have fill <laughs> let me just fill it with for example a yellow color and now we can do lots of interesting, uh, you know, things with shapes. So, for example, if I choose white text, hold down the shift key on this yellow, you know, uh, shape and I choose, for example, intersect. We can do something interesting that looks like this. All right. So that's why we need to convert our text into a shape with the help of the union uh, function. And now we will punch out this uh, crossing line from our letter letters <laughs> letters difficult word to pronounce okay so let's just uh, have a look into our original design once again so as you can see we have this line let's actually copy this exact uh, beautiful hot pink color from this design let me just paste this line over here and let's just use the eyedropper tool and let's just uh, copy this exact color so that we don't have to look for this color all right so as you can see here in the original design we had this uh, red line and we had some space here as well so let me show you how we can create this space you know between the letter and the lines so what we have to do we actually have to duplicate this red line in this case let's just increase the width of this uh, you know rectangle actually not line and let's just change the color for a little bit so that we can better see what's going on now let's just make sure that this red rectangle is in the front bring to front all right and this one has to be in the back okay let's just zoom in make sure that everything is positioned nicely okay and what we will do we will actually cut out this uh, blue rectangle from these letters so select the letters and hold down the shift key and click on the blue shape not the red one but the blue one and let's go to merge shapes and choose subtract it's and as you can see this way we have punched out some space for our line let's just make sure that uh, it does not have any outlines all 
right and here as you can see we have this little thing left over <laughs> after cutting so what we can do we can delete it as well we can just insert a little circle over here okay select our letters select this blue circle and let's choose subtract so now it's gone and now it's looking clean and beautiful so let's have a look into our design so as you can see these letters are white filled with white color as we have here but these letters on the right side they have only outlines so let me show you how we can create this effect in our presentation so once again uh, let's just go to insert shapes and let's just choose a free form a free form shape yes so let's click once here let's click once here once here once here and let's connect it to the starting point uh, let's just give this shape a fill so that we can better see what's going on uh, we can actually go to format format shape <laughs> and add a little bit of transparency so that we can see what's happening behind it and now let's just duplicate this light because in the first one let's do this select letters uh, hold down the shift key and select this yellow shape and in this slide let's just choose uh, subtract all right and on the second one uh, let's choose letters uh, let's choose the yellow thing <laughs> let's go to shape format and let's choose intersect all right so as you can see here we have the this uh, left part and here we have this right part so we can actually copy it command or control c and let's paste it over here let's delete the second slide and now we can adjust how these letters on the right looks like look like so let's just go to shape format uh, let's choose no fill remember we have converted our letters into shape so that's why we can remove fill and we can add outlines beautiful and we can go to outline weight and let's make it a little bit you know thicker for example something like this and we are pretty much finished let me just uh, look once again into our original design so I think I have just moved these uh, letters upwards a little bit on the right and these ones uh, on the left downwards so we can do the same here so let's just move them upwards a little bit and these ones a little bit down all right so now that we're finished with the design let me show you how we can save it so that we can upload it to for example printful.com and we can check if the quality is good enough you know for printing on a t-shirt so we don't care actually about the background background was just to help us to design this you know t-shirt design but what we need to export is the actual you know graphical elements so let's just select all of them you can drag with your mouse or you can just hit command a control a and let's just group them into one group and now right click once again and let's save it as a picture let's save it anywhere that we want for example on the desktop beautiful now let's get back to printful and let's just uh, click on start designing and here we should have design tab and we can upload our own file so let's just upload this exact design that we have just created all right let's select it and let's just make sure that we select uh, we choose a black t-shirt color yeah so that we see our design awesome and as you can see uh, design looks beautiful so you can see print quality it says good 150 dots per inch dpi so it's a really good quality out of powerpoint so that's awesome ladies and gentlemen you can basically you know create your own designs you can create t-shirts for yourself or for your friends maybe you would like to you know 
present a gift to your friends so you can create awesome looking t-shirt design and you can upload it and you can print it so that's that's awesome and if you'd like to support this channel and if you'd like to get this exact t-shirt you can go to canvadream.com this is a fresh new website by me and my wife and here you will see this exact t-shirt design never stop powerpoint and other amazing t-shirt designs international free shipping for all of t-shirts so feel free to check it out canvadream.com and talking about amazing people and amazing support i want to say huge thanks to all of my patreons who support me on patreon.com as you can see we have four levels of support so i'm grateful for all of you and as always all of my patreons can find tutorial slides on patreon.com so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one